Seth Joyner was a superb sacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. He was an outstanding linebacker in New York. Seth was a jewel. He attended Spring Valley High School from 1982 to 1985 as a communications major. Joyner didn't study with the lasso. He also played football for the University of Texas at El Paso. When facing Seth, many quarterbacks were sacked to the ground in the 1986 NFL Draft. The Eagles selected him in the eighth round. Joyner's defensive skills were divine. For the Eagles, he wore number 59. On 9-20-87, at the vet, Seth scored a touchdown, so he didn't have any complaints, which derived from his 18-yard fumble return when his Eagles defeated the Saints. Joyner was great. He earned 136 tackles in 1988. On 12-31-88, Joyner's interception was revealed in a divisional round playoff game at Chicago's Soldier Field. <laughs> On 12-31-89 at Veterans Stadium, Joyner worked very hard. When his Eagles faced the Rams, he earned an interception in the wild card. In 1990, Seth impressed. His seven and five ten sacks was a career best. On 10-6-91, by recovery of fumble, Joyner's touchdown was put on display in Tampa Bay. On 11-24-91, at Sun Devil Stadium, when Philly defeated Phoenix, Seth would earn a touchdown due to his 34-yard fumble return. On 12-2-91, at the Houston, Houston Astrodome, while playing with a fever, Joyner would enthrall. He earned two fumble recoveries, two forced fumbles, and two sacks on Monday Night Football. In 1991, Sports Illustrated held Seth and Revere. He was their NFL Player of the Year. Joyner reached the goal. He earned his first of three selections to the Pro Bowl. Seth wasn't slow, he earned his first of five selections as an All-Pro. In 1992, Joyner received much acclaim. He was inducted into the University of Texas at El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame. On 11-22-92, at the Meadowlands, the New York Giants demonstrated much concern. Seth scored a touchdown due to his 43-yard interception return. On 12-6-92, the Eagles won at Veterans Stadium, not in South Dakota, due to his 24-yard interception return. Joyner scored a touchdown against Minnesota. On 1-3-93, in an Eagles wildcard win, they didn't play at home when Seth earned an, inter an interception at the Louisiana Superdome. From 94 to 96, as an Arizona Cardinal, Joyner uses a bag of terrific tricks. In 1997, Seth worked hard every day for the Packers in Green Bay. Colorado is a mountainous state. As number 99, Joyner played for the Denver Broncos in 1998. On 131.99 at Pro Player Stadium, Seth felt like a king. Denver defeated Atlanta, so he earned a Super Bowl ring. Joyner then retired. His 1,000 plus career tackles, 52 sacks, and 24 interceptions were admired. Seth helps the students in our nation. He's the president and co founder of the Joyner Walker Foundation. Seth implements an awesome approach at the Joyner Coaching Football Academy. He is a fantastic coach. That's pretty impressive.